Hello. Um, well, I've had a lovely afternoon playing around. I've been finishing off, um, or nearly finishing off, a papier-mâché bowl here. I've been playing around with lots of different um, effects with gold, copper, silver, and um, CP ink. But I'll, I'll put the whole. I'll make another one. I'll, I'll show you how I do that later. That's why I've got ink on my fingers. And um, I've also been playing around with the the milk bottle. I have to say, it's not such a bad idea. They're really beautiful, the effects. We made, um, I played around first of all with just using it like that. And then I added bits of um, torn up tissue paper, which I glued together with layers of PVA and then ripped. And what I've done now is I have just thread some on um, a silver wire so it's a piece of cut milk bottle plastic a square torn edged layers of tissue paper and PVA some little glass bugle beads and some of the Tyvek and iridescent tissue ones I don't know if that's going to show up maybe you can see that it has possibilities and believe it or not I'm really chuffed with this the the handle of the milk bottle milk because it comes in a litre 1.36 litres it says so I chopped the, um, the handle up and I just threaded it along a silver wire with bugle beads so it's got tiny a large a tiny and a sliver of the milk jug handle and then it's repeated along and the same thing I did here actually I, I use a tiny bead and a big bead and a tiny bead it just sort of helps hold it together and in between all of these I forgot to say <coughs> excuse me there are little teeny weeny glass seed beads in between each one also I have got this little thing which I really advise if you get one it's a little um what do they call it pyrography i think and it heats up and you have a choice of different ends that you screw in the end it gets really hot and i saw it years and years ago at a country fair where sort of men that had retired were kind of writing names and things in bits of balsa wood that was the basic level and then you could get some incredibly detailed designs with it as well i have been doing this only just experimenting to see what can be done with the with these things which we have been making and now I've just been scoring them slightly and you get just lovely effects really really nice this one has got a little bit of silver on it as well and this one is one of the, the cone shaped ones which I've burnt slightly on the back as well as the front. Now I have to say I don't know what I'm going to do yet but you know that doesn't matter. Something will already it just is it, it I just know it's good because it's so exciting so something will turn up and I did it like this. So I would take one of these things and then I would lip I have to say, you have to be 100% vigilant, you do not put it down somewhere, then wander off and make a cup of tea or take the dog for a walk. You have to unplug it religiously and you have to have somewhere to put it. This tile is great where it will not touch anything because it is a lethal bit of kit and it burns into, it absolutely adores paper clay. I have discovered, and tissue paper obviously. But can you, I see. And also you, you need to keep the window open because it's a bit, a bit smelly. But you know, you can trail it across on just the end or you can go into it and make little holes or you can just take it around the edge and burn it. And in the inside, make sure you keep your fingers out the way. 
I haven't done very much on that, but you get you get the idea. And also, um, these we were making earlier. What I've been doing here is just poking into the into here just to make the holes a little deeper I think so I shall put that out of the way and that's it really I did wonder what they might do on the iridescent beads I'm just going to hit that a minute because there I'd lost it does it do anything at all apart from make a lot of smoke which is why really and truly I should have the door open before I choke. Mm, no, that doesn't work. Still. The rest did. It smells a lot now. I'm going to turn it off and go out. OK. I'll do some more things tomorrow. Don't know quite what, but I shall start to bring the components together. Okay, have a nice night. Bye.